Hey, what's up guys? We're back with another video and today we will be doing part 3 of the Splinter Cell series. For this level, we will be on a train. Looks like you're in position. Also, sorry if my voice sounds really stuffy or I cough up in this video. I don't feel great right now, so. <coughs> yeah. This is still your first and only objective. We need you to conversate the man face to face. The agency's got reams of data. But the man's history is a school of red herrings. Nobody knows whether he's a U.S. agent or a terrorist. Those things aren't mutually exclusive. <laughs> Until we know different, we're treating him as a friendly. So don't blow his cover. Any alarms mean mission over. If Soth sees you before you see him, the mission's over. Don't do anything to compromise him. Does that include killing him? Yeah. Leave him alive. So, um, I played this over a few minutes ago, and from my experience, as a, in my opinion, it's the easiest level so far. We should be done well in a minutes. As long as we don't mess anything up. See, the checkpoints are very far apart, so it's pretty easy to mess something up. Another complication for you. Found the credit cards our man Poindexter, a.k.a. Soth, used to buy the train tickets. What's the complication? Two seats they saw me? Looks We're under attack! What? Some kind of special force How'd they see me? <coughs> you know, next time we're just gonna let them get all the way through talking. We should let them talk next time. Dang, that, that sucks. That, was, that really sucks. For you. I'm gonna let them talk this time. Man Poindexter, aka Soth, used to buy the train tickets. What's the complication? Two seats in coach. Looks like you have at least two terrorists mixed in with the civvies in the cheap seats. But you're dealing with tight quarters. I wouldn't risk anything lethal. You don't have the room to maneuver if they're complications. Now we're gonna go climb on the train. So here's kind of a waiting game. Like there's a bunch of windows and there's people that just sit there and stare into nothing. Kind of annoying. But they're waiting. Like this dude, he's just staring at the train track. Are you okay, buddy? Now this person, I'm pretty sure it's a woman, I'm not sure, but she takes so long, like, hurry up, we'll have a little bit. These guys, they don't even turn around. I just go right past them. Oh, we got a curtain right here. Another curtain. Then we got a dude that walks past. I don't think he will quite see us, but... Um, Find 
Chris and I spent time back in the car. We better go this way. If you even try to go back there, that door will open, the guard will see you, mission's over. So, don't even bother going that way. Bratton's chums in the CIA came through for us. Sauce's right leg has more prosthetics in it than Lee Majors. Apparently, he had a disagreement with a landmine. Might register different on... We've got visitors. Our Such cover's been idiot. blown. We're getting off the train now. Damn. I ran too fast. Mission's over. Get out of there. Ah, I went too fast. I, I was supposed to wait until he went to the bathroom. Brunton's chums and the CIA came through for us. Sauce's right leg has more prosthetics in it than Lee Majors. Apparently, he had a disagreement with a landmine. Might register different on thermal. Perfect. Monsieur, you requested earplugs? Ah, yes. I'm very sorry, but I couldn't find any. If your neighbors start shouting again, please feel free to call me and I'll ask them to be quiet. Thank you. I'm very sorry. We're gonna have to wait for him to go all the way to the end because this dude's gonna see you pretty much no matter what you do. Unless you're perfect, which I'm not. Um, so I gotta wait for the bathroom, the guard's out of earshot, and then I will run across, um... Wrong one. Crap, I meant to interrogate him. Uh, um, you could interrogate him, you don't technically have to. I'm not going to, just because I know what I'm doing. But, uh, if, in case that happens, just go to cell 18. Um, that's where the guy you need to talk to is. Wake up, Poindexter. But time to talk. First, you tell me, who are you? I'm your Uncle Sam. Come to make sure you're still one of the good guys. How do I trust you? Your name's Norman Soth. Ask me about the chestnut tree. Okay, fine. What are you doing here? If the men I'm with catch us talking, they'll kill us both. Then make your Sedona story fast. It's an agency job. The Joint Chiefs want a military presence in Indonesia, and I was part of the plan. That's all I can say. Who's your runner? Clifton Finch. What about the cryogenics lab? Sir? What is it now? You have a phone call. Stay hidden and don't make a noise. Sorry if I woke you. It's him. Is this a fresh phone? We put the chip in just an hour ago. Good, let's go to the bar car. I don't want to talk here. He was lying about his handler, wasn't he? Yeah. Finch has been on sick leave for 16 months. Hack the laptop now. And trail Soth. Laser mic that call. We still can't risk blowing Soth's cover. Fisher, we need that phone call. Dime to a dollar, he's talking to Sedono. Okay, so there's a little um, area right back there. I Don't see it. We're gonna go right in there. Oh, really, dude? Come on, you didn't let me like this. Maybe I would deem things. There you go. It depends on our Mossad leak. I don't know. 80%, maybe 90. I just have a bad feeling about this train. I think our cover's blown. Hold on. No, it's just a feeling I have. I don't think it's safe to talk right now. Okay, but make it fast. I'm glad. Stay worried. Shin, bet. Are you kidding? I could barely believe Mossad, much less. Of course, of course. Always assume they know what you're doing. Exactly. It's a joke. Right. Mein Gott, I can walk. Four more days, tops. Then you're bulletproof. It's not safe to talk now. I need to get off this train. No, no, I can't. It's not possible. Of course. Till next time. 
Good work. Grim? Give me a sec. Focusing on the Timorese Mombe for expediency's sake. The new translator will take a few seconds to catch up. Take your time. There. Springfield demonstration. 80% plus fatalities. Custer would be proud. What the hell does that mean? Nothing good. What about that? Might be daily phone calls to delay release. Translator's still a little hinky. Right. We've got enough to work with. Get topside, Fisher. We're pulling you out of there. Okay, so once we get right here, we are allowed to kill people. So that dude is dead. <clears throat> it's the easiest way to get past him. Sorry, dude, but... What? Okay, I'm so confused. The last time I did that, it went... Uh, so I was allowed to kill people. Actually, wait, no, it's not yet. Actually, I can get past this all stuff. Yeah, let's just knock him out. We're gonna go right through here. We've got visitors. Our cover's been blown. We're getting off the train now. So now he can see them. But it's too late to see them. It's them or you. So I get past that helicopter and get right to our plane. Where we have to go. There's no way we get this level in under 15 minutes. Oh wow. It goes from 34 minutes to 12. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this very short video. And I'll see you all in the next one.